Hi hey guys, it's about um, 11.20 or ish. We're on the way over to the clinic to get Pete's head checked, see if there's anything in there. He uh, still has that headache and the sharp stabbing pains and today's day three of the painful spot on his head and, or in his head or whatever. I think he said he can't tell if it's on the outside or under or whatever. And then um, he also is getting sharp stabbing pains. So we are uh, going to look into that. It's just lightly raining now. It's been pouring down rain all day. We're supposed to have thunderstorms this afternoon. It's supposed to develop into thunderstorms. We canceled my mom's hair appointment because she won't go out in the rain. But we'll probably go to Bart since we won't be going up to the farmer's market. So since we didn't go to Roscommon today, we went up to, uh, we're here in Houghton Lake and we stopped at a place called Eddie's Bar and Grill. It used to be the Pressure Crab Pub. Never been here before. We came in thought we'd get a sandwich. We didn't go out last night. We didn't take my mom out today, so we just came here for lunch. Let's see what it's like. So we've never been here. Probably the only ones who haven't. Right, dear? Probably the only ones in the world who haven't been here. Right. Pete's still in a lot of pain, but the doctor said, I'll let him tell you about that on his vlog. He'll probably get it wrong anyways. Probably, but I'll let you do it. <laughs> That's your right. <laughs> See, they got a pool table. They got TVs all over the place. Behind me. Typical small town bar. But they do have um, outdoor tables and stuff because the lake's right behind. And we'll go home and the rest of the day will be kind of relaxing because it's a rainy day and I won't have to answer the phone. So don't call me. <laughs> I'm not answering. <laughs> I hate answering the phone on the weekend. I think I'm just going to fry us up a couple steaks for dinner tonight. That'll be our day. Sandwich with the patty melt. And onion rings. He got big old monster hamburger fries. And he got onion rings as well. Cool. Thanks. We got Arnold Palmer's to drink. She just topped off his. So it looks like a good meal. I think yours was what on special today for eight bucks. Mine was seven twenty-five or something, but then I added onion rings instead of fries. So I don't know. I'll probably grab a couple of Pete's fries too. All right, that is our lunch, and I'll see you later. We keep going by this lot that's been for sale for a long time, and now they've cleared it. And now, big hill right here. But it's right on the lake. It's right next to the Elks Lodge. And beyond that is the uh, Waterfront Hotel or Beachfront. I guess it's called Beachfront, Beachfront Hotel. Wow. Maybe they're making toboggan runs. Wow. That's a big hill. Hi, guys. This is my haul from Bart's. I got these four ginormous uh, tomatoes. They're Michigan tomatoes. I got this... Um, Squash. It's just another variety of, I mean, they all kind of taste the same. I got this ginormous, oh my gosh, that's huge, zucchini, 29 cents a pound. They're for zucchini bread, apparently, but, you know, we eat zucchini, I'll just use it for whatever. Um, then off their last day rack, I got a bunch of green onions some peppers, 
for the Pete and for the birds and two red ones and the red ones are like a dollar twenty nine each. The green ones are sixty nine each. This whole package was two forty nine. So, and then I got two romaine heads for a buck seventy nine. We stopped at the thrift store. There's all my bags for my Bart Paul. We stopped at the thrift store. I got myself some stretch denim capris for three bucks. My gravy separator. My last one, Pete, um, put in the microwave. I have to care of that because it's the wrong kind of plastic. So, got another one for a quarter. Then I got a nifty purse. Kind of bored with my purse. If I was going to be any kind of attic fashion or whatever, although this is practical, it would be purses. But I got this. It's got a um, pocket. Oh, it's got a pocket in front. It's got this zipper. Two big ones here. One of them has the thing where I always keep my medicine. And then this one has all your other stuff. Or checkbook or pencils, you know, whatever. Oh, it's got a mesh thing for the beach. No, I'm kidding. Anyway. Oh, that's for your cards, I guess. So that is my big purse I got for my... Um, I think it was a dollar. Pete is... Um, there are several things she mentioned... And after her examination and answering all the questions, she ruled out most of them except for possibly shingles. We don't want that. Or a pinched nerve in his neck. And since he's already on, he's already on a, um, with his blood thinners, he's already on um, a total ec, which is a, which is a NSAID. She doesn't want to put him on steroids too for because of his stomach. So she, he's going to take Flexoril and see if there's any muscle spasming or anything back there in his neck that could be causing it. Because he has, I'm pretty sure, arthritis in his neck. I mean, he's got it everywhere else and his neck is always stiff and doesn't turn properly and all that. So, Those are the two things that she's kind of narrowed it down to. So he'll start taking the Flexoril and if he gets a rash, she said it's three days before the rash shows up and this all started... Uh, Thursday, I think, afternoon-ish. So she said you know, if he gets a rash, it's the shingles. If three days on the Flexoril with his um, other stuff, his Atotalac and whatever, if that relieves it, then it's probably the pinched nerve thing. If not, if none of the above, then we'll have to go see Heather because we went to the walk-in clinic. Heather is our, our doctor. See you guys later. Bye. Here's my dinner, guys. It's uh, fried in butter. Uh, chuck steak, which is a good fatty cut, uh, roasted zucchini, red peppers, onions, green onions, and mushrooms with it. I know I've said I don't care for peppers, but that still holds true. <laughs> but I needed some color and more vegetables, so that's the way it is. And I'm um, about to just sit down and eat. It's 9 And I guess that'll finish it up for today. I got home from all of our stuff, got everything put away. Sat down, put my laptop on my lap, my feet up, and um, went to YouTube to watch some vlogs. And the next thing I know, I was waking up about two hours later. I keep doing that every day, it seems like. Pete is still in a lot, a lot of pain, and um, I don't know what. I don't know what. He's in a lot of pain, though. I got my music practice for tonight, got dinner ready, and I'm about to eat, so I'm going to go. Remember, tomorrow is Sunday. Pray for your pastors. Um, I've said it all in the past. They need it. They need to be upheld in prayer, as well as our brothers and sisters in Christ around the world. I hope you all have a blessed Sunday, and... Um, you know, get a good relaxing day to prepare for the week ahead. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Love you guys. Good night.